VGMD 1CS00 4 HW80 Lock DCU. Here's the only tool that works no bench mode. This video is for educational and informational purposes only. All demonstrations, images, and references are shared under fair use for learning and review. We do not claim ownership of any brand, and this content is not for commercial reuse. Always follow your local laws and the manufacturer's guidelines when working on any vehicle or ECU system. Welcome to Bob G Motors, your pit stop for pure automotive power, passion, and precision. You're here because you want answers, and trust me, today's topic is one that's baffled even the most seasoned auto techs. Let me ask you a question right off the bat to get your gears turning. Do you know which tool can actually read the locked HW80 version of the VAGMD 1CS004 ECU? If you do, hit the comments now and flex your knowledge. And if not, don't worry. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to handle these bench locked monsters. Now, before we floor the pedal on this tech talk, just a gentle reminder 95% of you watching still haven't subscribed. That's like showing up at the garage every day, but never saying hi. So please hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and show some love with a like. Let's aim for 10,000 likes and 1,000 comments in the first 24 hours. And hey, if you truly value what we do here at Bob G Motors, consider hitting that super thanks button. It helps us keep the engine running. All right, now buckle up because we're going under the hood of one of the most misunderstood ECUs in the VAG family, the Bosch MD 1CS004 HW80. And what you're about to learn could save you hours of frustration and hundreds in wasted effort. So here's the scoop. The Bosch MD 1CS004 ECU, if manufactured before June 2020, is relatively easy to work with. In its unlocked form, it's accessible via bench mode using a range of tools. Fox Flash, KT200, LaunchX, Prog3, Obstar, FC200, Flex, KSS3, and the list goes on. Basically, if you have any mid to high tier flashing tool, you're good to go. But today, we're focusing on the version that refuses to play nice. The MD1CS004 with HW80 hardware. This bad boy is bench locked. That's right. You can't access it via bench mode, no matter how fancy your setup is. Many technicians have scratched their heads, tried multiple tools, and even risked bricking ECUs, all because they didn't know the secret. So what's the solution? Enter Auto-Tuner. Yes, Auto-Tuner is currently the only reliable tool that can read and write this ECU, but only under specific conditions. Let's break it down. Auto-Tuner supports OBD VR mode only. That means no bench option is available for HW80. You can't connect to it the traditional way. Instead, Auto-Tuner relies on virtual read, VR, files stored on their server. If the file is available, the ECU can be read via OBD. The firmware loaded virtually, and the write can begin. But here's the catch. If the required VR file is not available on Auto-Tuner server, then tough luck. You won't be able to flash it. Period. And guess what? Many successful flashes on HW80 units have already been done using Auto-Tuner via VROBD. So it's not just theoretical. It works in real-world situations. Let's talk about some of the technical details so you understand what's happening under the hood. Readout method. OBD VR. Virtual read only. No physical data pull. MCU type. TC298. Right time with unlocking, about six minutes. Right time after unlock, just two minutes. Check some correction, automatically handled by auto tuner, reducing risk. Now, here's something even more important. Auto tuner's recent updates have expanded support for more kaput versions of this ECU. So now, more VR files are available, and the coverage is broader than ever before. That's why if you're serious about working with modern VG 2.0, LTDI engines and want to tune vehicles manufactured post 2020, auto tuner is not optional anymore. It's a necessity. Let's take a moment here. Are you finding this helpful so far? If yes, show some love, smash that like button, drop a comment below with your thoughts, and share this video with your tech community or team. Let's keep Bob G Motors growing so we can keep bringing you content like this every week. 
And hey, don't forget, we're still chasing that 10,000 likes and 1,000 comments goal in the first 24 hours. Now, let's touch on something else you should be aware of. If you're dealing with HW31, you're looking at an entirely different beast. That one requires SFD2 unlocking first, after which you can flash via OBD. But back to HW80. No unlocking, no flashing, unless that VR file is present. This whole thing teaches us a valuable lesson. No single tool does it all. If you plan to work on a wide range of modern, high-end ECUs, especially locked ones, you'll need to invest in more than one flashing tool. Whether it's KT200, FC200, or Auto Tuner, each one brings its own strengths to the bench, figuratively speaking, of course. And now, it's time to loop back to where we started. Remember the question we asked? Which tool can successfully read the HW80 locked version of the VAGMD? 1CS00 for ECU? The answer, as you now know, is Auto Tuner with VR OBD protocol, provided the file is on our server. And here's Bob G Motors' take on this. In today's rapidly evolving automotive tech landscape, manufacturers are locking down more and more components. As technicians, tuners, and enthusiasts, we must evolve too. That means investing in tools that offer consistent updates broad protocol coverage, and real-world reliability. Auto-Tuner has proven itself in this case. It's not hype, it's necessity. But now I want to hear from you. Have you used Auto-Tuner on an HW80 ECU? Have you run into issues? Or do you have tips for others in the community? Drop a comment below and share your experience. Your insights could save someone else hours of frustration. And before we wrap up, here's a fun fact from the auto-diagnostics world. Did you know that many ECUs have built-in self-destruct mechanisms that can permanently lock you out if accessed improperly? That's why using the correct protocol and tool is absolutely critical. There are no do-overs with some of these systems. So if this helped you avoid a potentially expensive mistake, do us a favor. Like this video, comment below, and share it with someone who's stuck with a locked ECU. And please, subscribe to Bob G Motors if you haven't already. It's free. It's fast, and it tells us you want more deep dive content like this. To all the loyal subscribers and regular viewers, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Your support is the reason Bob G Motors is what it is today. Let's hit that 10,000 like and 1,000 comment milestone together. Until next time, keep learning, keep wrenching, and stay ahead of the curve. See you in the next video. Happy diagnosing.